So let's take a look here at Google Inbox. Uh, I cut it down. This is my personal inbox versus my business inbox, so I can show you some of the details and how it works uh, without compromising too much customer information here. And Google Inbox is a new, evolved way from Gmail. So we're used to Gmail and we're used to the web interface that we see with them, and this brings it to that kind of next level. They've really just created a really interesting way to handle email and to create smart replies and contextual responses. So here I sent a couple emails, or from me to me personally, and when you see the emails uh, on red here, comes up, it's got a nice clean interface, and it's like, for example, did you get those TPS reports done? One of the features I really love with Inbox is you can have these contextual responses. So I can type a response like this and do a normal type in a response, but it's nice to have these. Now this works in parity with the phone one and the same, whether I'm on the phone or on the desktop, these same responses come up. It can read the emails and predict responses that I may say. So I can say, yes, I got them, or I'm working on them now, and then hit send. Now it keeps the email conversations together like this. So when I pull this one back up, it's gonna keep going there, and I can keep replying, uh, still working on them. And now it's going to keep the messages going back and forth like this. And now I replied again for myself. And you see it starts to group them here together as the conversations go to tell you how many are grouped. And you can expand the group back out. Now that's cool. And if I say, you know what, I don't want to deal with this email right now. I can say snooze until tomorrow, this weekend, Friday, someday, pick a date, pick a place. Now what this lets me do is have these emails pop back up as new. So I can say, okay, this says lunch next week. Do I want to pin it or do I want to snooze it? And you can say, okay, I'll snooze it. And if I say snooze till tomorrow, tomorrow Friday is Friday at AM, it'll just pop up or I can say pop up on the weekend. This allows you to keep your inbox clean and jump and say, push these emails to later, push these to another time. The pick a time and date so you can be real specific, like remind me about this email then. Now the pick a place option is for when you're on mobile, you can pick a place and then you can set a location reminder based on that place. So you can actually have the email come back up based on the location. So you can choose the store, maybe it's email about something you wanna get from Home Depot or the hardware store. And then you can say, when I go to the hardware store, bring this email back up to the front, which is pretty neat. You can pin the email. What pin email is when you want to swipe things across with this to sweep the emails done, ones that are pinned won't get swept. But now that I'm done with this email, I'll do this and this will sweep it. Now I can sweep it here and just check it and make it done from there. Now this is another email I sent to myself that says lunch for next week. Works for me, sounds great, see you then, sounds perfect. This is really nice too, because this will let you do the same thing. It's reading the email and coming up with replies that you think that would really sound like you. I'm sometimes like the responses even better than what I would have sent. So I sent and then it's done. Then we can just take this email and have it marked done. It's it's really an easy system to use. I like this little, you know, gives you the cloud and things like that. Uh, then you can go back and see all of your done emails. You can see all of your snoozed emails if you have any snoozed ones. So let's take a look and see what it looks like when we snooze an email. So we'll take this email and we'll just mark it for tomorrow shows the inbox clean, kind of that inbox zero concept, there's nothing in your inbox, and we can see it snooze. But if we want it back sooner than that, we can just pick a time and date, and I'll show you how this works. So it is the 23rd, uh, and so six, let's say at six, thirty-five, and we make it 36. Save. So at 6.36 p.m., this will actually show back up in my inbox. Later. So here's 6.36, and automatically this shows right back up in my inbox. And it lets me know that it was snoozed an hour ago. I could re-snooze it, or we're just going to go ahead and unpin it and check it and go back to being done. So I pulled some emails back in to kind of show you what they look like before they're cleared. So all the bundling is still supported. You still have the purchases grouped together. Now what's really cool is it gives you a little preview on the purchases, for example. So you can actually jump right to some of the orders that you did from Amazon, from Google Play, or for example, this is an eBay order for a part we ordered. It'll let you jump right to that order. And when you do it, it'll take you directly to the page, to the shipping details, and have all the information right there for you. It's really convenient. Um, you, 
get this on your phone, they work the same way. I like that it fills in the expected dates when it comes to deliveries when you're doing this. Uh, and then when you're done, and you can expand your orders to see the detail. And then this checkbox here says, you know what, I wanna sweep all these unpinned ones, just make them go away because they're done. And you can pin maybe the ones that aren't delivered so you can keep them tracking. And same thing with the bills that you have to pay here. It has your billing information for, you know, your orders confirmed for this or that. And I can say, okay, I'm done with those. And same thing, your social stuff, it goes through. You can jump through and see the replies in here and then go through and get rid of it if needed. And it leaves your emails that are important on top. So any of the actual emails in your inbox are on top and then all the other ones are subgrouped underneath. And then you can just clear them as needed. I'm, I'm really a huge fan of Google Inbox. Like I said, it works the same way on the phone. Uh, its composition is nice. The interface is just super clean it does have a breakout so if you want to move it over here and have a more traditional email view uh, so you can easily attach and do things it also has when you're on the sidebar here the uh, standard new material design compose or just to create reminders right within here which is really slick so if you wanted to start by creating a reminder for something you could do that it also puts in here uh, some of the people that you've recently emailed so you can just hurry up and jump to them or it pulls from your contacts like any of the other gmail functions do and fills in as you auto type when you create a new email like i said i'm a huge fan of the google inbox it's really nice for making your life a little simpler and giving you those contextual replies i, I use this on my phone a lot because i can take my phone go through and say yes no or come up with more intelligent responses to emails even on my phone just with a couple touches android is much the same so here i threw one in there security question do you think that any email system is secure? And you can say with the same thing, contextual replies just like that. Yes, it's working. Send is right in the top corner. Done. I, it's so handy when you're on the phone and you want to reply to people because it just it can read it, come up with a reply right away. It makes dealing with email a whole lot faster. And I love the way that they just keep the same interface on the phone as they do on the desktop. It's very fluid. Um, the only other differences on the phone one is you can swipe it away and make the emails just slide away to say they're done instead of just checking a checkbox. So for example, this one here, if I wanted just to make it go away, I can just slide it with my thumb across and it goes away. I can go this way to snooze it. So it snooze this way and check it off that way to get it gone. Makes dealing with email so much easier. Like I said, it's uh, just a click. Uh, great system and you have all the same things and reminders to slide out here and you still have the compose right here down at the bottom so that's a quick overview of google inbox like i said great little tool i've been real happy with it makes uh, replying to email and keep looking forward as they keep adding features i've been a beta tester for a while now it's out of beta and into the production and it's been a great system and i hope you like it too